In today's video, we're going to go through the difference between transpose, pivot, and unpivot. Okay, I will show you different examples, how they work, and when you use which. So, first of all, a transpose is basically, it just turns columns into rows and rows into columns, the entire table. It's just swifted. Pivot tear, takes um, rows and puts it into columns, and um, pivot put, gets columns and puts it into rows. Okay? So, examples, examples, let's go. So, if we go to the first example, here we have a table where all the information is in rows, and we want to have it into columns. And as you know, if you follow what I said before, that pivot puts rows into columns, which you could actually get the column one, go to transform, and then pivot column. But what you're going to see here is that the values need to be on one column. And obviously you can say, oh, I can merge all the columns and pivot and then I merge them and it's going to be a mess. This is one case where the function transpose is very, very useful. Let me show you. So if we transpose this table, you see it will take it, the entire table, all files, into columns. And for these specific cases, it's absolutely perfect. The next thing that you need to do is just use rows as headers, and then you are good to go. Now you have the table that you wanted. So this is where transpose is useful. Now, let's go to the next example. In this next example, we have everything into rows, but we want to have these into row, and then we have want to have a column of that one and a column of those values that's shown in the image. Okay, how do we do that? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to again put rows into columns. So for that, for the entire table, for that we're going to use transpose, and then we're going to use first rows as headers, and now. What we want to have is to put these columns back into rows. And if you remember what I said in the beginning, um, pivot puts columns into rows. So you grab the company column and then you go to transform and pivot other columns. And there you have it. And then you can just, for example, here, change the number. This is forecast duration. Otherwise, you can do it in one step, obviously, but, but I like to do as little steps as possible. And then we can just remove the uh, forecast, extract the text before the limiter, and then the limiter is going to be forecast. So you just get the forecast duration. And there you have the table that we wanted from the beginning, okay? Using transpose and pivot. Now, and pivot. Now, let's do another example. Here we have, again, everything is on rows. So we have company, but here we have forecast and sales. And we want to have company, forecast, and sales in three columns. So how do we do that? Watch this. The first thing we're going to do is transpose. We're going to do use first rows as headers. And now we're going to get, we need to get these rows into columns, okay? Th these columns into rows, sorry. So we're going to go to transform co company. We're going to go to um, pivot other columns. And let's see, we have the attribute and value. What we want to do is separate this column. Let me show you. So we're going to uh, split column by uh, the delimiter, but we want to have the rightmost and we want to start, yeah, rightmost. There you have it. Okay. And now attribute one is, don't change the type. This is going to be duration and this is going to be forecast and this is going to be the value. Now, what we want to do is this that is on rows, we want to put it on columns because we want to have company duration, forecast and sales. Okay, so we need to change these to, to a column. What changes rows into columns? Pivot. So we go here to transform and you do pivot column and then you grab the value. You have to open it here and do don't aggregate. We don't want to sum or count or anything. We just want the values as they are. Click OK. 
and look what we get company duration forecast sales so you can go back here and change these let's change it here instead change these to duration like that and then you have everything renamed <laughs>